up? It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. I'm talking fast because Sam J is here. <laughs> and she has a flight to catch. And New York is crazy right now. Um, Onika McLean is guest hosting. Hey, what up, y'all? Hey, Sam. Hey, what's going on, shorty? <laughs> I, listen, she came in um, when she was guest hosting. And she was like, oh, I was with, um, she was telling me everybody that went to go see Beyonce. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Sam J's coming later today. So you should stay for that. Coincidentally. Yes, look at that. Did you see Beyonce um, at the concert or just the movie? No, I went in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, it was amazing. Wow, you went in Atlanta. That's yeah. a really I was, lit one. The, the Mute Challenge one. The mute, I was there the Mute Challenge day. How'd you do? <laughs> we did good. That was like the best one. Atlanta <laughs> got the best one, yeah. People were so mad about that Mute People Challenge. People would like lose their minds. Everywhere. Yeah. So first of all, we um, watched your whole special Okay, so I know there has to be some little people backlash. You know what? <laughs> you want to know it's so crazy? I thought it would be, like, crazy. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is going to be one of those things where I'm not going to be able to be on, like, Twitter for a few days. But it hasn't really happened. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It hasn't really happened. So I, I thought it was going to be a lot more backlash than actually came. I think it's always great when you can um, make... I always feel like this. Jokes can be controversial, but as long as they're clever... Right. Then you can get away and with. They make you think. Like that made you think. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And I feel like I, I I did a better time this special of kind of tying the knots. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just mm-hmm. better at comedy. So, I feel like last special it was like I, I was saying some things and some of it it was too open ended. And I feel like this time I kind of like completed every thought mm-hmm. in a in a real way that helped quiet down some of that noise. Yeah, because, I, listen, I like when I am not sure if I'm supposed to laugh or not. Like, when yeah. something's funny, and you're like, I don't know, <laughs> but it's funny, so I guess I'll just laugh. I hope nobody videos me laughing at something inappropriate, because <laughs> right. I don't want to get in trouble. You saw, like, even certain things. You saw Dave Chappelle took a picture with, um, what's that woman, Lauren Boebert? Oh, Congress. And um and then she used it as like an anti trans. Oh picture. yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Well damn, I was just <laughs> I was just yeah, like that's the thing. You never know if people are gonna flip stuff to to make it be or, or whatever. So to some degree you really can't care. You just gotta do what you know you you know, you believe in or whatever. Well, you've been having a phenomenal um past few years too, by the yeah. way. You know, pause with Sam J. I enjoy watching that show. Uh, yeah. And yo. the conversations that would take place on there. Is mm-hmm. there a chance that that's gonna be like Nah, man, we're not doing any more pause. It's mm-hmm. done, mm-hmm. which is okay. You know, like a lot of people are like, oh, damn, I'm so sorry. And it's like, I'm actually cool with it. I, it was a very uh, draining show for me because it was all just personal. You know, like every topic was something that was real personal to me. And I was kind of like exhausted. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I was like emotionally tapped. Like that last season was really heavy, the stuff with my mom, the stuff with my brother. And I was really like, I don't even really know where else to go. You right. know what I mean? So it kind of was like, it was like, it was time to kind of do something else do you still have like kickbacks and stuff like that oh your... yeah yeah okay. yeah absolutely so that's a real thing that yeah that's just a part of my personality you. yeah for sure i like throwing parties i was mm-hmm. asking onika before you got here we were talking about because you had a whole thing on estate planning and i just did something on that up here too because i um you know the budget nista was up here and she was telling me i need to put like my properties into a trust and you haven't was, done any of that stuff yet i have no i haven't you just out here wilding <laughs> i know because she yeah you just never know you're right what yeah, can happen and you and all I, too yeah, we all i gotta old. get it together we all oh bro <laughs> we gotta, gotta get, get it together. together for real you start like i'm 41 bro it's like anything can happen you could fall bro it's a wrap you fall right now okay Sam done J. bro <laughs> <laughs> she, she be like a hip that's yo it. it's a wrap like I'm a fall now. you fall you ain't never gonna be the same bro <laughs> no I'm not gonna lie one of my friends from high school actually just passed today from an oh, aneurysm man. see yeah. it's crazy out here you gotta plan your stuff yeah. I mean wait to bring down the mood Angela but no <laughs> I'm sorry. But then we were also having a conversation because I feel bad that I'm not an organ donor and Onika is. I am too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. shoot. I feel really bad. Now. Yeah, I am. Just what click the button. you decide to do that? Um, my mom passed away from lupus, but before that, she got a lung transplant. So it just felt like, the, you know, someone oh my helped my mom have a longer life and more time with me. So it just felt right. Okay, I'm going to be an organ donor. But <laughs> let me think pressure. about it. I don't want to go on the record. <laughs> what, you think you're coming back? <laughs> you like, you come back now and got no eyes. I know, because I do think about that. I don't know what happens afterwards. So what if I need my... Shut sh- up. <laughs> you're not going... Like, wherever we going after this, they not. you not going to need your heart. That That's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, anyway, um, so... You, you didn't get married yet, right? You're nah, still engaged? No, I'm still engaged. You have a date? No. Every time I ask you this, it's... <laughs> come on, bro. I don't... Come on, man. 
<laughs> Come on, we're, we're, we're having fun. Shout out to y'all. We're hanging out. Yeah, like <laughs> she's she's happy. She saw it yesterday. No, she mad happy. Yeah. yeah. When, when, when I tell you, when I tell sometimes, you, sometimes, but it do sometimes look like y'all just finished arguing. Sometimes, always, yeah, but, that's but probably happy. most likely. Yeah. <laughs> but no, what I was saying is, we were watching your special, and you were talking about how you have to consider her so much. Yeah. And I was like, even last night, she, Sam was like, "It's cold. You stay here." She's like, "I can be cold." Sam was like, "No, no, no. I'm gonna be cold." <laughs> Yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah. That's what a relationship should be like. Where, yeah. You know, you uh, hold the door. I don't have to do anything. That's not what it should be, <laughs> but I, that's what it's turned into. It depends into. on the, on the shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, my boyfriend loves the. I, I realized this the other day. I handed him like six bags and I wasn't holding anything. Crazy. And yeah. I still was like, and he was like, yo, I can't. Yo, you know what, hold what this uh, y'all all. does? My fiance, she'll like, we, like, there'll be a table right here. And she'll like hold this cup, and I'm like, why? <laughs> there is a table. Why don't you just put it she right here engage. on the table? It's like she just always wants me to be in service <laughs> to her. But you kind of like it mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, you like it. A I can tell. Bit. I like her crazy. She yeah. like you know we've known each other a long time. She's my kind of crazy. And she's an interior designer, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's the house like? Like however she wants it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I see like, like changing things. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Always changing things. It's uh, Yaya's Playhouse. It, it is a lot of the disco balls and <laughs> glitter. It's her. Like you walk in, it's her. And then I have my corner. I got my office. That's where I get to do my thing. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's where my You just stuff have goes. your corner. I got my corner. Okay. Well, the special is Salute Me or Shoot Me. Yeah. And um, are you already working on the next one? Because this one, I feel like, did really well. I saw a lot mm-hmm. of people talking about it. Yeah. Um, no, not necessarily. I mean, I'm always doing stand ups. So I feel like you're always working on the next thing. Mm-hmm. But I don't have like a specific yet. I'm just out here doing jokes again, which is nice. I saw you said you did like 300 stand ups to get ready. Like two. Mm-hmm. 275, something around there. Wow. Sheesh, that's wow. a lot. Oh, Nika, when you do you, you shopping oh, yeah. yours now. <laughs> oh, yeah, but let me tell you something. Oh, you shopping your hour? Yeah, I'm that's shopping it. I'm, I'm pushing with the stand. So. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. That's I'm excited up. about it. But you know what you did on your special that was so dope? You tapped into the masculine energy. Like It was like mm-hmm. church. Like You got to just see both sides of the spectrum. It was so dope to watch. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be mm-hmm. a woman. I want to say, I, yeah, man. I, re- I realize my role out. is to like, you know, be taking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to say it like, out loud. Supposed to help. <laughs> you, at least you got the expectation of help, right? <laughs> but I do work hard. Like I do, I work a lot. I will say that. Like I'm always working. I'm always doing this. But I think there is something to allowing somebody to take care of you too. Sometimes yeah, that's a hard thing to do. And it goes both ways. Yeah. Like it's not like my fiance doesn't take care of me. You as made it well. seem like no. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just different. laughs> like <it was> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but you also made it sound very unappealing. Like to um be a man because of all the responsibilities that men have right because yeah. you know we could just suck a dick like you said and get everything you know if, <laughs> if you're smart I mean, if you're smart <laughs> let's add some context to that <laughs> if you're smart like, 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 was, like, was like that's true, that's true. <laughs> it is true <laughs> if you're get smart <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it did sound like mm, I think I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm good. I'm good right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is just like the thing when I when I did step into my like masculine self. I it was like, oh, whoa. There's a, there's a lot to do here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like stuff that I just didn't think about. Of course, you won't think about it if you're not doing it. And then I was like, oh man, like shit definitely changed. Can I say shit? Yeah, I said a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it was on this one, but previously you talked about um, periods syncing up also. Yeah. That is yeah. a very real thing. Yeah. It is. It's right? messed up. It's messed up. Because in um, my and friend Jasmine. Love, it's, it's bad. You said it's bad because yeah, you both have an attitude. Because both, both have an attitude and like. it's And it's not like the same day, so it's a little staggered. Like my, my fiance starts like, like four days before mine. Mm-hmm. So like it's like a little staggered, but that like PMS and just not want to be around her and like I know my periods coming when I'm just like staring at her in the bed and I'm like I hate you. Like, 
Like, go away. Do you like, track her too? What are you doing here? Like, yeah, we know, we know <laughs> each other. And I could tell when she's being, like, nasty. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? The good thing is we're honest about it. Like, I'll be like, are you about to be on your parents? She's like, I think so. And it's like, all right, well, then I know where all this wild energy is coming from. And the older I get, the worse my period gets. So it's, like, way more emotional now. Like, I cry. It's, really? It's a mess. I it wonder what that's from. It is a mess. Because what I had to realize, too, was my period used to be, like, worse when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But then um, working with this, like, with Coach Jesse, this holistic doctor, it is sometimes your diet. Like, certain oh, really? things that you eat will make mm-hmm. your period worse. Really? Because it's not like the cramps. For me, it's not cramps or worse, any of that. It's just, like, emotionally, I'm way more out of control. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not engaging my emotions the way I used to be. I cry a lot more. Yeah. Like, it's like I get depressed. You know really? what I mean? Like, I do. I get, like, it's like once a month, I'm truly, like, suicidal. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, wait, this is <laughs> real <laughs> suicide. It's this true. is, like, You're my period. One. You may want to look into that because there are certain foods they definitely tell you to avoid. Yeah, but you know what it is also? It's just those, the the energies is going different. They they going up and down at this point. I like, also think, yeah, estrogen like, and... Because I haven't had a child. Mm-hmm. I've never had children. Never been pregnant. Nothing. Oh, wow. I think my body because i'm 41 i think my everything's going into everything's, overdrive yeah. it's like let's go like, <laughs> it's like let's go and let's go because everything i'm like my my breasts swell now and they hurt it's mm-hmm. like all this crazy stuff and i'm like my body wants me to do what god intended but i'm gonna keep being gay <laughs> god like i'm a chill breaking the rules sorry i mean me. i don't have any kids open up and then open up doors and stuff opening up mm-hmm. doors where right? taking yeah. out the garbage mm-hmm. yeah we <laughs> I, and I will say, you know, that's a great thing because I don't have to take out the garbage ever. Ever? Nope. Because that's not my responsibility. Wow, that's crazy. But you help make the trash, though. And I, and you know what? I probably clean up more also. I probably am always the only one who does the dishes. Okay. And I do the laundry. So y'all find y'all balance. Yes. That's so it's Because, so, like, do you do the laundry? Do you do the dishes? No, what are some? I pay the bills. See? And take out the trash. <laughs> do you and cook? take out the trash. Do you cook ever? Nah, not because I can't. She doesn't really want me to. She doesn't like me in the kitchen. Like, if I try to go cook on my own, she just hovering over me and like. Oh uh, yeah, that's she, annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I just leave it alone and just let her have the kitchen. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, where do you guys think that you're gonna stay in New York? Like after the wedding, or is this? I don't know. I'm going back and forth. I love New York. I love New York. So and we love you. I love, 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 love New York. <laughs> I love running into you places. Yeah, yes. I love be a, New York. it's always yeah. a vibe. Um, but it's like. I'm tired of paying taxes here, bro. Mm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. That's very painful. Bro, they it, every time, home. I'm like, I'm, I mean, I'm Republican at the end of, you are not. At the end of every <laughs> year, bro. When that tax time comes, I'll be like, I don't know, bro. You're like, it's capitalism. <laughs> no, it is tough. I'm not going to lie. I'd be thinking about the future, like, because maybe I, 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 it would be, I feel like, cheaper to buy a place somewhere else and yeah, live there part-time. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. That's how I was thinking. Cause it's just, especially because I pay a lot of taxes, and I don't. Like, I don't have kids. No way. I don't got no way going to public school. I don't get on the train. It's like, what am I, you know what I mean? What like, are these what, taxes going to? What am I getting out of this, Nothing. bro? It's making me hostile, bro. I be seeing kids skipping school. I be yelling at them. Take your ass to school, bro. Said, what am I'm I paying for this, this, bro. Go to school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Because there's two people that are moving, like, to Florida, to Texas, but... At the same time, like some of the po- the policies there are so crazy, but then it's like, well, the taxes. Yeah, but you keep your ta- you keep your in- I don't income know. tax. You could you could ban me from a Walmart if I don't gotta pay them taxes, dog. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and the other thing is the, the cost of living. Besides just taxes in New York is crazy. Like the it's amount just high. the amount of space that you get for how much you're paying is like ridiculous. I feel like I make an av- like a decent income for New York but if I went somewhere else I would have a lot oh, of money oh you'd be rich right. rich yes that's how I feel too <laughs> yeah. I was like if yes. I lived anywhere else I'll have a mansion Girl, on the road I would right. have so much true. money it, but I'm like in New York you're like you're just doing all right it makes and, it hard for you it and people who hard. come here and visit from other places they're like you pay all you don't have a driveway <laughs> like, no, you don't have no. a garage you don't have nothing you don't have a parking spot you don't have nothing Mm-mm. you no. can't put this cone here no you cannot because we will move that yeah. cone you be like this is a house don't call it an apartment because yeah. like- <laughs> other places people have like designated parking spots yeah. that people know like not to park in the street I had never heard of such a thing you know what I'm saying because in New York nah, you- all, anything goes one mm-hmm. time I um, when I used to uh, live in a different neighborhood 
I would, it was so hard to find parking. So one night I just managed to, luckily, I was driving around for like 20 minutes, found a parking spot, and I happened to have a rental car that day. And somebody came up next, I guess he had been looking for a spot mm-hmm. all night and like gave me the middle finger. <laughs> and no lie, the next day I came outside and the whole car was scratched up and keyed up. For real. Oh, yeah. Damn. And I'm like, it had to be that. But thank God it was a rental. And thank God I, I was like debating on getting the insurance. You got the insurance? Oh, did you? I did. You got to do it with oh, American Express. So I was like, ha ha. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. I still don't even take that chance. Do you get insurance when you rent a car? I don't rent cars. Never? No. <laughs> Why do you say that like it was an awful I don't, thing? I know. I just don't do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's a thing. I just I, Uber everywhere. That's a newer thing. Yeah. That's a newer thing. You're mm-hmm. right about that. I guess, when's the last time I... Right? Probably when we went to Yellow Springs, you have to rent a car. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't, certain places... Or they just even, drive a car that's there. Yes, well, certain places they don't have Ubers like that. So right. yeah, yeah, like Yellow Springs. You, I mean, you could walk around Yellow Springs, but you have to get there. That's true. <laughs> and, and like, um, even trying to get out of there is you can't call an Uber. Nah, like nah, nah, you nah. need a ride. Yeah, 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 or car service or yeah. something like legit. Yeah. All right. So now, what? I know you have some new shows in the works. Yeah. Okay. So what are you working on? I don't, can I talk about the things? Yes. I don't know. Kind of, sort of. Give us that like a little insight. I'm, I just got some stuff in development, you know, with a few networks, you know, and hopefully, you know, we'll see something. Okay. Soon. That was very vague. That's so vague. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I ain't messing up my coin. Yeah, no, that was very vague. <laughs> well, yeah. Is it like, okay, something. You ask and I'll Is blink. it scripted or is no, it? No, no, it's scripted. Okay. I'm right. working on two scripted things. Uh, one that's like, like you know, like network and then one that's cable. Um, one that's kind of more autobiograph- autobiograph- bleh, autobiographical of where I was when I first came out in Atlanta and mm-hmm. kind of discovered my masculine center self. And then the other one is more based on kind of where I am now. Ooh, okay. Yes. I like that. Mm. What was it? I felt like Atlanta's a good place to come out. Yeah, it was a great place to come out. <laughs> it's it's a mecca. like Atlanta, you know. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> lot, of, lot, of, lot of ladies. <laughs> but but how did you come out? I, I don't know that. I never, like, sat my family down. I was like, hey, I, I'm not, like, that type of person. <laughs> um, I just cut my hair and started bringing girls around. I was like, all right, I'll figure it out. I don't <laughs> And then that's when people are like, I always knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people do that. Yeah. They're like, I knew all the time. Oh, just, and, and it's like kind of messed up because I didn't know. And I'm like, y'all could have saved me a lot of dicks that I done sucked <laughs> if you would have sat me down and talked to me because I was unaware. <laughs> so if everybody else was seeing this, you could have jumped in at some point. <laughs> I can tell you weren't good at it, too. I was actually kind of good at it. I lie it, about being bad at <laughs> the it. The way you described it, I actually I was, was like, kind of good at it. looks terrible. Like, I'm a like, I know I made. That's the acting. I know how to do what I need to do. <laughs> But I'm an overachiever by nature, so actually it was pretty decent. You have to be the dick. <laughs> Become one. You know, Anika said, I am the dick when I do it. I she am the it. dick. <laughs> but I am still single, so maybe I am not doing it correctly. <laughs> but listen, Sam J does have to catch a flight. We do want to make sure you get there because I know traffic is crazy. Yeah, but- I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> I, mean, I see it. Trust me, I know, I'm but if you, I think you'll make it. So let's get you out of here. All right. But this means you owe us to come back. I do, I do. I'm so sorry for being late. I'm not late. Am I usually late? I'm not late. I'm not She's late. She's not going to say yeah. You but I'm not. Okay. I really am not. No, I believe you. And Anika was an hour late <laughs> I knew you was going to do this shit. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> but no, honestly, go catch a flight and come back. We love you, and I cannot wait to see you. And, um... We do this again. I would love to come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. All right, good. No, because it's very exciting to me. I always see Sam. I'm like, when are you coming on the show? When are you coming on the show? So I'm glad we finally made it happen. I know we did the Breakfast Club, but here is different. Ding, ding. All right. Way Uh, up. Bye, Sam. Bye. Bye. (laughs)